All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to you. How about Shem El Shabbat Shem Rakhadas? The one is the apostle of the elders, great millstone, we will well. Peace and salutations to you, sincere Akimata, pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. Uh, real quick, now I just want to jump in uh, on this place because it, it, it just <laughs> these Edomites, you know, they're still they're still at the top, but. Uh, we're really starting to see a lot of the cracks in their society, according to the scriptures, whether it be through the, the uh, mental state of the people here, whether it be through uh, the actual business that, business that they're doing, the different nations that are competing with them, right? Just like you just had a great dip in the stock market, you know, because of some things that China was doing, or whether, you know, all of these things, of course, being different uh, techniques of the Most High to bring down this wicked kingdom known as America, or in the Bible known as <clears throat> Babylon the Great. Okay? Babylon, going back to the Hebrew word, Mabalia, meaning confusion. All right, and I just wanted to jump in, man, right? because these Edomites, <laughs> they laid up a snare, they, they, they laid up a snare for, for us the scriptures talk about that. Well, somebody lays up a snare for you, and then they fall in themselves. And that's exactly what they're doing. And what's going on with them? Let's get into it. And this is, if I could, this is one of the, the, the favorite things that they want to do, man, is talk about money, 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 money. This is how you can save. This is how you can be well off. Because the way that this place is structured is is so uh, um, it's so ass backwards that you're gonna be working basically <laughs> if you're an Israelite you'll be fucking working until you drop okay the current age of uh, retirement I believe after uh, people born at 69 is like 67 you know and and by the time that year gets there who knows what it'll be it's all it's all based on the state of the economy. And that's why the, the chip is going to be so vital because you can't buy or sell without that, that chip, without that mark of the beast. So no retirement, no investments, none of that stuff. That's why it's going to be such a, uh, a hard thing for a lot of Israelites to do. Two thirds of the nation of Israel are going to be destroyed. <laughs> Sam and Myrna Catalina Catalina were were hoping to raise a glass to retire them five years from now. Sam owns a San Francisco real estate business. Things just stopped. And his nest egg has been eaten away by the recession. My retirement portfolio is down about 25%. Now, he doesn't know how to invest what money they still have. I'm still switching. Real estate and the stock market were supposed to be the reliable investments. But the financial crisis has turned a quarter century of assumptions about the retirement savings upside down. Upside down. Hey, so like the dude was saying, he owns a business, but, uh, the plan that he invested in for him to retire is down, okay? Because when you go into these different retirement plans and 401k and all of this stuff, basically you put your money in a pot along with Esau. Uh, Esau takes that money, they invest it in certain things that they want to invest it in, and then, um, uh, then, then later on, you know, you, you agree, uh, Esau agrees not to let you pay taxes for it, I believe. And then later on, when you get older, you can pull from that money. But if you pull from it before then, then uh, you get you get punished for it. You have to pay a fee for it. All right, so it's a, the scriptures say, Psalms 119 and 110. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimony, right, the wicked has laid a snare for us. Psalms 57 and 6, the same thing. They have prepared a net for my steps. My soul is bowed down. They have digged a pit before me in the midst whereof they have fallen themselves. And this place is known as what? A fallen, fallen world. We're in a fallen state. 
even though there's so much money here because the 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 the, 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 the moral compass, the spiritual compass of this place is completely ass backwards. Alright? All of these people who are who are getting played to the left and to the right, like down here, what is it at? Okay, you got you got Jay-Z. You know, everybody, that's that's the new news right now. Everybody's talking about Jay and he's doing a partnership with the NFL and whatever, whatever. Hey, people are waking up to the bullshit. All right, and Jake and <laughs> Jake and Jake man, they will fucking sell out into the the final second. All right, because the NFL, just like the NBA, just like any of these other sports relationships, it's a it's an owner. Slave relationship, okay? They go out into the field, they go out to the court, you know, they fucking tear their ACL, tear their back, tear their knees up, and, you know, do all of this shit to win a championship for this owner and for his team. And meanwhile, none of the owners look like you. None of them. So, hey, this place, man, this, this place got to be destroyed, man. This is a, this is a, this is a snare. That's a, that's a net that they have for us, okay, including the wine in Babylon. But I want to get back into this because this is the actual dude. This is the actual guy who invented 401k. Let's see how he's living. Ken Bennett has lost about 20% in his retirement funds, and he's not just any investor. I'm, uh, I'm going to identify as the father of 401k. 1980, Benna, a financial consultant, created what's now the main retirement savings plan for most American workers. Stocks and bonds, bank, and Strategy. Strategy of some Marissa Hardwick. Didn't work. Didn't work for years now. Yeah, and that's what they, that's what he saw nice to see. You got to look, you got to diversify your stocks and bonds. You got to go into this market, this market. When that when that when that market of the beast comes, it doesn't matter where your money's at, unless you know you physically got it in your pocket or you got silver or gold or something. Hey, you you ain't gonna be able to buy yourself. Even if even if so, you ain't gonna be able to buy yourself. Okay, and just like he said, he's the he's a damn financial consultant. He created the 401k, and now well, the the market's down, so my money's down. It's not, it's not looking good for you either, man. It's not looking good at all. Among Americans nearing retirement, about 60% have less than $100,000 put away. How much? The average, the average American raising the savings rate to 15% of his or her income would mean another $2,200 a year. What's more, the father of the 401k says the wise retirement strategy now is to keep training so you can keep working. One way to avoid it, uh, having your retirement nest egg run dry is to be able to continue to earn a paycheck. Sam and Myrna Catalina <laughs> are confronting that reality. Ah, uh, man. Only, only way for you to keep keep earning is what they say, keep working. You got to work. You got to work until you fucking die. Hey, that's why another thing the scriptures say, because these Edomites, you know, even though that they're doing bad, a lot of them they still got that hundred thousand, or they still got that little money put up, you know. But they got that house to pay for, or they got this to pay for, or the kids' college or whatever. You know, Jake, we're on a completely another, you know, completely lower playing field. <laughs> That's why the scriptures say this is not your rest, man. That's why it's so important for us to be spiritually invested in. The things that are going to be spiritually invested in us, okay? Because the scriptures talk about we're going to receive a crown. We're going to receive a king. We're going to receive the different, the tributes from these different nations. All right? And that's something that's something that's very hard to deal with because, you know, you, you might have skills or whatever. You spend a long time building up your skills or 
utilizing your skills, only to find out that uh, it's, 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 it's very hard to get a leg up. It's very hard to, uh, uh, to uh, make things happen. I'll put it like that. It's, it, well, not make things happen, but it's very hard to, you know, get up on the level of Esau when they've had, you know, hundred year hit, a couple of hundred years of a head start upon you. All right, and these Edomites, they're finding out. Getting, they're getting old and they're finding out what's real. <laughs> the, dude, the dude just told you, shit, you got to keep working. Keep working. Group three. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, this is uh, Baruch 3 and 1. It said, O Lord Almighty, God of Israel, the soul in anguish, the troubled spirit, crieth unto thee. Hear, O Lord, and have mercy, for thou art merciful, and have pity upon us, because we have sinned before thee. Yeah, one of the part of the curses is, see, basically, the Lord was going to take away all of our riches. He was going to take all, all the things that Israel put before him away. All the gold, the silver, the all the riches, everything. And that's basically what he did. Okay, because you look at uh, the different places we were taken from, the, the empires before this particular one, like West Africa, South America, Central America, the Caribbean, some of the most beautiful, some of the most wealthiest places on this earth. Or, or so you, got Jake's, you got Jake's in every, all the four corners of the earth, but those are kind of the main places. Europe. Those are, those are the kind of main places, though. And those are some of the, the richest, most most wealthiest places on earth because they have so much, uh, so many physical resources. Oh, yeah, including here, North America. Part of the reason why it really is spiritual, but it's a, a big part of why he came in and took over this land because they wanted the resources and they wanted the riches. All right, because it's written that... Uh, He'll oppress a man in his heritage, and that's what he did. He came over here, and they make billions of dollars off of oil. They make billions of dollars off of corn. They make billions of dollars off of bananas, chocolate, all the different things that they stole from the Israelites. Back to this. This is why mercy is so important, man. Mercy is important. Faith is important. Knowing exactly, you know, what, 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 what's the next, man? What's the end game? Verse 3. And this is what the Christians are not going to tell you. They're going to go into church with a 501c3 doctrine and, and they're going to give their money where a preacher can take it without him having to pay taxes. So you you go in and you're paying a hustle. And he's getting rich and he's fucking putting stuff towards his retirement. This is verse 3. For thou endurest forever and we perish utterly. <laughs> and that's where we're at now. We're, 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 we're Brothers are coming back to life, but our people are dead. O Lord Almighty, the power of Israel, hear now the prayers of the dead Israelites and of their children which have sinned before thee, and not hearken unto the voice of thee, their power, for the which cause these plagues cleave unto us. Remember not the iniquities of our forefathers, but think upon thy power and thy name now at this time. For thou art the Lord, our power in thee, O Lord, will we praise. And that's what brothers are doing, man. We're trying to bring out we we're trying to, to exalt that name, exalt who our power is, exalt the different things he said. And our people still want to be rebellious, even though they're still in captivity. There's no there's no upside to this. There's no, you know, time and chance happen to every man. But for the most part, <laughs> if you're if you're an Israelite, you're going to work till you die. I put it like that. You know what? I, I, I know a lot of Israelites. Old up in age, 60, 70, they still driving. They still got to work. They still got to do the same shit. It's no, it's no mercy upon them, but they don't want to call upon their power. Yep. Verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to pains. And that's exactly what's going on. We're reproach, we're cursed, we're subject to bills, we're subject to, to pay this, to pay that. You, you want to do something, you want to learn something, most likely you got to take out a loan unless you get an internship. But hell, you want to get an internship, you got you to gotta be a, a crony. A lot of times you got to be a crony to Esau. Okay, and you know what comes with that. 
you see, you already see what comes with that. You have to, you have to make a, a deal in that back room though. Hey, but that's all, man. I just want to bring that out. Hey, I think I had a little more. Hey, it's, 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 it's only one way out of here. It's only one way out. And Lord willing, that way comes soon. Because uh, once that chip comes, all these people who have these different investments and they've invested 30 years in a house, they've invested all these years in 401k, they've invested all these years in student loans and a college degree, all of that stuff is going to become nil because that chip, you're going to have to have that to buy a cell. Okay. Answers are, Answers are your monthly 401k statement will remind you that you've lost a good chunk of your savings. Trillions, Trillions of dollars have evaporated from those accounts that have become the prime source of retirement funds for a majority of American workers, affecting their, affecting their psyche and their future. And their future. If you're still young, you're still young enough, enough, there's time to rebuild and recover. But if you're in your 50s or 60s or beyond, or beyond the consequences can be dire. Drawing attention to the shortcomings of retirement systems, jeopardize financial trillions, trillions of dollars of evaporate. I mean, how the fuck the trillions of dollars evaporate? This man is the devil. And, and our people, they want to trust in this system. Trillions of fucking dollars. Tens of millions. Tens of millions. It was a great chilly morning in midtown Manhattan. A line of unemployed, mostly white-collar workers stretched for blocks around the Radisson Hotel. More than a thousand middle managers, stockbrokers, consultants, secretaries, and receptionists had come here hoping to find a job. If you are just one, you step this way. It was called a career fair, but there was no merriment here, only a whip of desperation. Many of these people had been out of work for months and burned through their liquid assets. Their future even bleaker than the present. And Alan Beer, who turned 60 this month, showed us his latest 401k statement, which he hadn't had the courage to open up. I'm afraid. You can open it now? You want me to? That's good. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's good reason for his trepidation. Nearly half of his life savings has vanished in a matter of months. Go. Who? How much is he down overall? Oh, about 140,000. Oh, man. 140,000. 140,000 in a hole. And this is Esau. I was looking to retire probably when I hit 62. No. Nope. I'll probably be working for at least 70. Yep. Until she lost her job, Kathleen Coleman had spent nearly 30 years working as an executive assistant on Wall Street. She doesn't have much to show for. Tell me about your 401k. Um, does this is the answer to question? This is, uh, what was it, 2005? 2007, you're down below 2005. And another one went down almost $40,000. Almost 88000 and then it went down to like 50. How old are you? 54. And I live alone. I don't have any children. I've been a career girl all my life. Say, ah, uh, so she's a career woman. No children. All alone. And that. <laughs> so, hey, brothers try to, we try to push. You know, brothers are trying to push for for our women to, you know, be wise, be vagrant. A lot of our women are gonna end up like this, man. Call the law, you how why you how shy. Hey, this place ain't got too much fuel left. It ain't, it ain't too much more, man. The most high just gotta if they left, they're not already sealed. The most high just gotta seal his elect and, and yank us out of here. The stage is set, the playing field is set. Lord, when we get out of this show, shall we?